Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, lend its a period of purification. Lend is a moment with which the Church puts it clear that it continues to be a moment of fast prayer and almsgiving. And it continues to be a moment whereby we are invited for self-introspection, the time of reflecting on oneself, time of committing ourselves anew to God, to one another, to life, to the world, and to faith. It is this particular time that we are also invited in a very special way to die, to live. It is a period that says to us, we are to find a moment of dying from our own self, dying to self. The yoke of us liking to exalt ourselves, applaud ourselves, needing things for ourselves, promoting ourselves, it is the yoke that has to be taken away, like the first reading attest today, that the Lord will want us to take the yoke which is within or is in our midst. And in the same way, dying to self is actually essential to God. That is, we will be in a position to embrace the words that Paul says. I have been crucified with Christ and I'm no longer living, but Christ living in me. And as we live in Christ, we are allowing ourselves to embrace the new meaning of who we really are. This Lenten period, it becomes a moment of redefining our faith, redefining our commitment, redefining all that actually makes us as true Christians. We therefore pray that God may continue to give us this grace, that things that weighs us down may be indeed taken away, that we remain faithful to God, faithful to his call. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.